Music and fashion are married. I think that's why classical music is not as accessible because you, you imagine like a man wearing a tux or a black suit and you imagine a girl wearing a ball gown. When you look at pop music, you see like Beyonce or Rita Ora or any of these amazing artists who are wearing like feathers everywhere. And it's like, why can't classical music do that too? I can't pick favorites because they're like my children and that would be wrong. The three best tips for getting the best vintage finds. Well, you have to work hard. <laughs> you have to put energy into it and you have to really search. It's like looking in a clothing rack in a vintage store. You know how you have to go through like every single thing and there's dust in your facial everywhere. You have to do that online. Like I will go to eBay and look at 142 pages of eBay or first dibs and I have so many favorite vintage finds. I go to Farfetch, Net-A-Porter, Matches Fashion, My Teresa, Moda Operandi, but then I also love going to eBay first dibs and looking for vintage stuff and also finding new and young fashion designers that have like very few followers. The most fun part of shopping for me, especially online, is finding the vintage pieces that I've never seen before. So I love going to First dibs, for instance, and being like, oh my God, I've never seen that old Escada dress because it's from 1980. Actually through Instagram, like I do hashtag vintage couture and then I can see like what things I'm missing or what things should I should be inspired by. And so I'll see like a Jean-Paul Gaultier corset, you know, and then I'll go into shop style and type in Jean-Paul Gaultier corset or into eBay or whatever site I'm looking at. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier for La Perla. This is an Asian designer, Ivan Young, and I wore this for the Ariana Grande video. This is a piece I found on Instagram as well, Michael Lungu, and I wore this for the shoot and I love her. I incorporate vintage pieces into my wardrobe and into my look by combining them with lower priced items. Like I will shop on Amazon and get a tank top or a sweatshirt or sweatpants and then pair them with really cute like fur slippers or like an amazing Chen Peng coat, you know, that makes the whole outfit elevated. I wore these during the Cardi B rehearsals and people were like, oh my God, are they comfortable? How are you wearing those? They're, they're like sneakers in the studio. I still want to look cute just in case. You never know who's going to come into the studio. Like one time I was like looking crazy and then like, they were shooting behind the scenes with like Tony Braxton and like, you know, another time Beyonce was there. So I just always wanna look cool. I love taking risks. So I like taking risk in music. I like taking risk in fashion. I would say like I'm bold. There are stereotypes in classical music and they're true for the most part. An older crowd is an inaccessible form of music. It's very expensive to go to and people aren't wearing this. They don't have like red lipstick on and rings everywhere. My style is different visually and musically. So not only do I play with beats and, and move around a lot, like I do this with my hands all the time and, and you know look at the audience and you're not really supposed to do that. Ultimately, I want my style to speak for me because like, I can't play the piano and have a conversation with the audience or sing, sing lyrics. So my style has to represent how I'm feeling. So if I do like a rap song, sometimes I'll wear like a leather corset. I think I did that for Meek Mill. I wore like a leather corset and leather lace up pants in red. And then I did like a Chopin Nocturne and, and played like in a hooded Y project with a gown. And so it's just, it really, it is a reflection of not just my personality, but also the song. It's so different to perform with a hip hop or pop or an R&B singer than it is to do solo classical piano because with someone like Cardi B, you have to have as much energy as her and have as much energy as the dancers. And as a pianist, I'm, I'm not used to that. I am always trying to make, you know, my performance badass or even classical music badass, but more importantly, make it more accessible. Thank you so much. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys. Subscribe to Cosmo for more content and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Miss Chloe Flower.